In this example, we're asked to prove that if 3n plus 2 is even, then n is even. This one can be done a number of different ways, but let's do this one by contradiction. So to do a proof by contradiction, we have to assume the negation of our statement. So let's first break down this statement. We have if n is even, so I'll just write it like this, the n is even is our p. Then, sorry, this says 3n plus 2 is even. So p is 3n plus 2 is even. Uh, Q is that N is even, and then our connective here is the conditional if then. So this is P implies Q. So there's our P implies Q. And that's our statement that we wish to prove. If we want to negate this, then what does that become? Well, the negation of this is P and not Q. So this is one of the um, logical equivalences that you should just know by heart. If you don't remember it, how do you get to it? Well, let's start. First of all, do the negation on, or leave the negation on the outside and do the implication law on the inside. And remember that P implies Q is the same as not P or disjunction Q, logically equivalent. When I say it's the same, it's logically equivalent. And then apply De Morgan's law. So a little De Morgan's law here. Negate each of these, you get not P, not not P, sorry, and not Q, and of course that's the same as this, right? So either way you get there, this is the negation of the statement. So our assumption is going to be, we are going to get to assume, let's just go get right into the proof actually. So um, our assumption is going to be that 3n plus 2 is even and uh, Q, uh, n is odd, right? Not Q, n is odd. So here's our proof. So let's suppose 3n plus 2 is even and n is odd. All right, then what happens? Well, if n is odd, then what does that mean? Well, the definition of odd is that then there's a, a, there exists some integer k, right? So there exists an integer k such that n is equal to 2 times k plus 1. So even and odd, we've seen this quite a bit, we understand that means that n is equal to 2k plus 1. All right, well, plug that in for the other one and see what happens. So then 3 times n, I'll write it out, 3 times n plus 2 is the same as 3 times 2k plus 1 plus 2. This is 6k plus 3 plus 2, which is, of course, uh, I'll just start working down here so it's a little more clear. This is 6k plus 4 plus 1. Either way, that equals 5, right? So that's the same. But the reason I'm writing it this way is because now we can factor out a 2 from here, and we can see our contradiction staring at us almost, right? So this becomes 2 times 3k plus 2 plus 1, and as we've seen with some proofs, some previous proofs, we need to uh, just state, and it's obvious because the integers are closed under multiplication, addition, subtraction. So this is an integer, right? So then we write where, let's call it m. m equals 3k plus 2 is an integer. All right, thus, what's true, right? So thus, <coughs> Um, our number 3n plus 2 is actually the same as 2m plus 1, which is odd, right? So which is an odd number? All right. Notice that in our assumption up here, we assume that 3n plus 2 must be even. Down here we have that 3n plus 2 is odd. There's your contradiction right there, right? So this is a contradiction. You should always tell your reader when the contradiction happens, especially as you're just starting off your proof writing career. So this is a contradiction. And so then what can we conclude? Well, we conclude the entire statement, right? We conclude the entire logical statement that we have up there. So we conclude that if uh, 3n plus 2 is even, then n 
is even. That's exactly what we wanted to prove. We've proved it by contradiction. So as you study this proof, uh, you know, pause the screen, take a mental image, make sure you understand why this is contradiction and not some other method, right? So what makes this contradiction as opposed to either a direct or it's, it doesn't feel that much like direct. It's not a contraposition. Um, we could have done this by contraposition, but that's not the way we did it, right? We did it by contradiction. So make sure you understand why this proof is by contradiction, where the contradiction happens, and how this argument is different than just saying uh, or just applying the contraposition.